Letambulu's Soweto home is set to become a heritage site. House number 1670 Molashwe Street, Orlando East, Soweto, is where one of South Africa's foremost music luminaries was born and raised. On September the 24th, the house will be honored with a Johannesburg Heritage Site blue plaque from the Heritage Ways in partnership with the City of Joburg Immovable Heritage Department and the Johannesburg Heritage Foundation. Tsinelo Mukhele, the heritage researcher and strategy developer at Heritage Ways based in Soweto, joins me now to share more on what this means. Babe, very good morning to you and welcome. Good morning to you. So for the, some of those who may not really understand the technicalities, what does a heritage site blue plug mean? The heritage site blue plug, it's a city-wide uh, program where the city honors particular sites that are of importance in our national uh, estate. And sites of that magnitude, they are then given a blue plug as a sign for preservation. So a blue plug represents a preservation of a site so that uh, in future people can know that this site is one of the city's heritage. So okay. it represents that. So of all the homes in Soweto, uh, what, how did you arrive at the decision to choose uh, Ma Letambulu's home? Mamale Tambulu is part of our national estate yes. and as such her home needs to be conserved for future generations. But also what is important is that the National Liberation Route project of the government seeks to honor heroes and icons of the past but also heroes that are living and the people that uh, are in the music sector and also in sports needs also to be recognized. So hence we've joined Mamale Tambulu's house uh, to be preserved as a heritage site. But also the National Heritage Resources Act 25 of 1999 enjoins every person and organizations to preserve heritage, especially subsection 341 that deals with the preservation of our national estate. Okay, so what is it of historical significance that maybe took place in Mamambulu's uh, home for you to be able to declare it as a uh, heritage site? The house was constantly under surveillance okay. by the special branch in times past, but also right. it's a site of importance because when Mama Letambulu brought her son, Musese, mm. into, in, in South Africa in 1981, he was uh, declared a non-citizen of South Africa because they were staying in the United States of, of America. Mm. So she had brought the son to be in South Africa. So the son was deported at age uh, at 18 months <laughs> so the, the the special branch came to the to the house and said <laughs> Musesa cannot be a South African citizen because he's uh, he's American he so within not. 24 hours Musesa was taken out from the site but also in 1976 uh, the students who were uh, 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 conversing for the uprisings they used to converge at Mamaleta's house singing uh, the song Chigichela Ngamache. They were inspired by the song Chigichela Ngamache. And how did she receive the news that her home would be turned into a heritage site? Mama Mbulu, yeah. she's very excited. She's humbled. She, she's out of this world. And one thing that about her is that she's greatly honored to have this bestowed on her. And what precisely is in the house that, uh, you know, will sort of paint a picture of how Mamambul was and is today? What is it that they can learn about her, uh, given what they see in the house? What we are planning to do, we want to do a story, a story board on site uh, that will be a collage of uh, pictures and other materials that uh, people will come and be able to access on site so that... Uh, they are able to look at the pictures, look at the archive material on site. Interestingly, it's also her birthday, her 75th birthday on the 24th of September. And uh, there will be a fun walk, I do understand. Is that walk open to everyone? The walk is open to everyone. It will be starting at 8 o'clock at the Orlando Communal Hall, uh, taking through Moki Street, uh, relieving all the heritage sites uh, around Moki Street. Because you should remember, uh, Orlando East is, uh, is, is, is it's, it's, it's the bad side of Soweto, yeah. so it has got a lot of heritage sites. So we'll be moving from the communal world, traversing all the heritage sites around Orlando and ending up at Maman de Tambul, where the house will be uh, unveiled as a, it's one of uh, the Chobek uh, sites. 
Okay. Do any of the family members live there? Like, who lives there currently? Uh, currently, the site is being rented. Okay. Yeah, so there's no family members on site. So after the unveiling, can people visit the site at any time or is it open at certain days? Absolutely. You'll want to visit the site because of its great significance and the fact that Mama Letambulu was uh, internationally and she has worked with various artists such as Quincy Jones, uh, Adele, Conan Ball, Michael Jackson and other, mm. uh, other people. So it's a site that is worth visiting. Okay. Remind mm. us again of the address. Where is it? And so it's 1670 Mulatlu Street. Orlando East. Orlando East. Okay. Orlando East. Oh, Orlando East. <laughs> yeah. All right. Baba, thank you so much for your time. Hey, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Indeed. Letambuli Soweto Home is set to become a heritage site in Johannesburg. Tsino Lomukhele, the heritage researcher and strategy developer at Heritage Ways, based in, in Soweto, just spoke to us on what can be expected at the unveiling next weekend. Let's go for coffee.